uh, hi everyone in this video we will uh, make a calculator uh, for a beer put spread in excel sheet to make this calculator we have to define two puts and let's say the strike price for the first put is uh, 500 and uh, strike price for the second put uh, is uh, 300 and the premium or price for the first put is uh, 50 dollars and premium or price for the second put is $30. Now to define the profit from this uh, puts we have to first uh, define the stock price. So let's say that the stock price uh, starts with 0 and then we increase it uh, by 10 each time. So I'm just using a formula and uh, when I drag this cell uh, the prices will go up. So all I'm using is uh, I'm referring to the cell above it and then adding a 10 into it. So each time I go to the next cell, uh, the reference will change and that will give me an uh, increment in the stock price, right? So basically I've just defined the stock price here. Now to calculate the profit from uh, uh, put one, profit from uh, put one, what we have to do is uh, we have to uh, put a scenario. So we'll say if if the stock price is less than uh, the the strike price in this case so now if it's less than the strike price our payout will be equal to strike price minus the stroke price minus the premium we paid for it so basically the pre the put will pay if uh, if you are selling if you if you are uh, if you're buying a put, a put will pay if the price is of the stock is less than the strike price. If it's higher than the strike price, then you have only the loss and the loss will be equal to the premium you paid for that put option. So, so this is how it will look like uh, if the strike price, if the stock price is less than the strike price. And uh, if the stock price is more than the strike price, then we only have loss and that will be equal to the premium of the put option. So now you can see that if the stock price is zero, our profit is equal to 450, which is 50 less than the strike price. Now this formula looks okay. So what we have to do is uh, we need to first put a dollar signs on on the premium and the strike price and we are putting the dollar sign because when we drag the formula we don't want these references to change now to check it now you can see that if the stock price goes to ten dollars then the payout from the put option uh, decreases it goes to four hundred and fifty dollars now if we keep dragging this down now you can see that uh, eventually when we reach 450 our profit is zero and when we reach 500 which is the strike price then we didn't make any money from the put option but we lost the premium we paid to buy that put option but when we go higher than the strike price then our profit is uh, always minus 50 we lose the money of uh, 50 dollars which we paid for the premium so this will be the profit from the put uh, one now from the profit from the put two profit from the put two so that formula will also be similar. Uh, so all we can do is we can copy this formula and we can just put it here because put will be same irrespective of the strike price, right? So we drag the same formula. However, in this formula, we will change the references. So we'll just drag the cells down to the other put option so now this is our uh, profit from the put option so all i did was copy the same formula and then i drag the references so instead of using k1 i wanted this formula to use the k2 and instead of using p1 i wanted the formula to use the reference of p2 so now you can see that uh, the profit from the put 2 would be 270 uh, so why is 270 because uh, it's 300 away from the strike price but we paid 30 dollars to buy that put option 
so that's why the uh, it's 270 so now if we drag it down you can see that eventually it's minus 30 so the loss is minus 30 and uh, when we reach the strike price which is equal to uh, 300 we have a loss of 30 dollars which is the premium we paid to buy that put option and at 270 we have a break even point where we did not make any money or did not lose any money now this is our uh, put one and this is our put two so now if we do the plots uh, for this two so now you can see um, I say data insert so this is our plot for put one and uh, I need to say this as put one and uh, I can also label these axis and uh, to look at the and this is our put two so if we if we do to put two all we have to do is click on the chart and then drag the so now this is how the put two will look like now what we are doing in a uh, beer put spread is that we are buying the put one and selling the put two so if we are selling the put two all we have to do is we have to multiply everything with minus one so if we are selling put two so in that case what we do is multiply this with minus one so now if we look at selling the put two we drag this down and this is how the profit chart will look like now if you look at the beer spread it will be equal to the sum of profit from put one and selling the put two so all we have to do is we need to add them together and uh, this is how the chart will look like I'll copy this and uh, I'll paste it again here and uh, I'll drag this reference to this one so now this is how the beer put spread will look like and I call this as now here you can see that uh, as the stock price go down um, we have a strike price of 500 so as soon as it go down the 500 we start to uh, get some uh, money and uh, eventually when it reaches uh, the other strike price then uh, our profit stops and we don't make any money anymore so we can uh, change this strike price to see if this formula is working correctly so now let's say I make it 700 so now you can see that the profit start at 700 if I make it at 1000 then you can see that the profits begin to start at thousand but if you go to thousand the the premium for this put option could be very high so let's say the premium is 400 then you can see that my profit chart changes now because this is uh, restricted let me change the axis and uh, say uh, I'll just say reset to auto and now you can see that if I have the higher premium for the P1 then initially I can have a lot of losses because I paid for the premium for the put one but eventually I start to make profit when the stock price goes below certain levels so that's why it may be wiser for me to have a lower premium put uh, if I'm looking at the uh, bull so now let's say I have uh, 550 so this will have lesser risk of losses as compared to uh, the other scenario but this is how the bull call bull uh, put spread 
can be made in Excel to look at the different scenarios. So I hope this video helped and I'll see you next time.